The Titanic and its tragedy has been on my mind a lot lately, like everyone else's, and I remembered that I've had this box for over 20 years. It is full of mysteries. <gasps> Look at that. This is from around 1850 to 1870. I think this one is closer to 1870. And it is by George Austin. He was known as a cabinet maker, but he also made traveling valets. So when you traveled by sea, women and men carried trunks for their clothing and these rosewood or elaborately adorned and inlaid boxes for travel for their necessary items, as the French called them, necessaires. Now, it's interesting, these pieces here are made of glass, not crystal. Now, the tops are sterling silver, and the glass is quite heavy, but they are not crystal, and that could be a cost or durability issue. Uh, they do carry quite a lot, lotions, potions, soaps, all of the toiletries that one might need while traveling. Now this little nail file did not come original with this kit. They, everything you can see, there are the little loops there, another secret compartment. This box is full of secrets, but all of the nail items would, and buttons, the button hooks would fit right across there. <gasps> Look at that, it lifts off. One might find something like this, a travel vanity full of powder, rouge, an eye stick, and a lip. This fragrance, Oubagant, would definitely have been making it the Titanic voyage. Believe it or not, this is a copy of Oubagant. They were manufacturing fakes even then. I know, it's mind-blowing. More on those in another episode. Now, from the outside, you can tell that there's something under there, but unless you know where the button is, you don't know to get in. This is for the jewelry. Some of this is of the period, but there's a secret compartment for your jewelry, and look at this. Documents, writing letters, that mirror is removable so that you can take care of your toilet. Let's look at this one more time. Jewelry. We know the secret compartment underneath, and then the document and letter writing area. This is just a magnificent glimpse into history. Can you imagine being a woman first or second class on the Titanic with a vanity case like this?